We spend a lot of time listening to things, like music, podcasts, and mothers. So why not make sure we're listening to the best things? Sound engineer Simone Torres shows us how she makes sound sound good. Take a look. Science is the best. Technology's above the rest. But then there's engineering too, and math. What would I do without you, STEM? That sounds great, Nabil, but I gotta come in there and make a few adjustments to the setup. Oh yeah, come on in, you're the expert. She really is the expert. Today I'm meeting with Simone Torres, a multi-platinum Grammy-nominated vocal producer and sound engineer. The first step in sound engineering is capturing the audio. For this, you need a microphone. So this is a ribbon microphone. So if we take a look inside, there's a thin ribbon of metal right here. When sound hits it, the ribbon will vibrate between the magnets in this strong magnetic field, and then it will convert that energy to an electrical signal that we can amplify or manipulate. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But they're really sensitive, so you gotta be careful. You don't wanna be singing right up close to it because those changes in airflow and air pressure will possibly ruin the ribbon, so. So when I'm recording vocals for my metal band, maybe don't use the ribbon mic? Exactly. Another type of microphone is a condenser mic, which is commonly used for vocals. How do you know which one to use at any given time? So the cool thing about sound engineering is that there are no rules. You learn about the characteristics that each of them gives you, and you could really do whatever you want. Another important factor to consider when selecting a mic, directionality. In a recording studio with a full band, a mic that picks up noise from any direction is going to record absolute chaos. By limiting the directions from which a microphone can ingest sound waves, engineers can pinpoint an audio source for the cleanest possible recording. For my vocals, Simone recommends a cardioid mic, named so because of its heart-shaped directional pattern. You're gonna to wanna to sing into the front of it, and the things that are behind it, it's not going to pick up as much. Now it's time to lay down my tracks. Science is the best. And get to the final step, mix it. Each piece of audio recorded enters the DAW, or console, as a separate track, and can be manipulated in endless ways. With reverb, I can put your vocals in a plethora of different places, like a basement, a cave, a hall, a chamber. There's all different things that you could do. So this has no reverb. My curiosity runs so deep. Without you, things would seem so bleak. Yeah, it sounds From just dry. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try adding some reverb You'll in there. Never know what you mean to me. Science is the best stem. <laughs> okay, I sound amazing. Yes. Okay, you are killing it. And the reverb, do you see how it puts you in a place? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was cool to hear what it sounds like dry and yeah. unfiltered, but once you add the reverb, it adds so much more character, mm -hmm. a lot more, I don't know, emotion. You could feel like there was depth to it. Exactly, yeah, and that's what we do, right? So like the performance is there and then we're just adding kind of the accoutrement to make it feel great. This is just a pitch, mm -hmm. but I think we should sing something together. <laughs> okay. What would we do without you, STEM? <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.